All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am just going to check to see that this is actually showing up on my page. If you are here, say hello. And then I will know that you're here or that it's working. And I'm just going to try to get things pulled up on my end here and see if it's working. It looks like we are good. I see there's a couple of comments, so we must be all right. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Hi, David and Michelle. Okay, and you can hear me today, so this is good. We're doing better than last time. That's awesome. Okay, so I have a card for you guys. I'm just gonna switch. Let's see if I can spotlight this. We're gonna see if this works. Um, we're probably going to have to invite Ryan in so that I can do the spotlight. But hi, everyone. Um, my name is Alana. I'm in Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada. And tonight's live is going to be sharing a card with you guys that is a kickoff to a class to go that I am doing with Rachel Tessman from the United States. So I do have a flyer. And when I switch the camera over, I'll show you guys the flyer. But um, this is the card that I am going to make for you guys. This is one that we chose not to do just for supply usage, but um, decided that I would share this card with you guys today and give you the information about our upcoming class to go. It did actually post today on my blog. And if you're thinking blog, what is that? I have not blogged for probably eight years, but this was a perfect time to try. Oh, thanks, Linda. <laughs> I forgot that I was coming uh, live with a haircut from the last time that you guys saw me. So I did chop lots off. Like, I think it was down to maybe here. So I took quite a bit off. Um, thanks for noticing. So I will get this turned over and uh, not turned over, but I'll turn the other camera on. I'm going to give this a try and see if I can remove this pin and pin the other. And then you guys tell me if this works. If not, we're just going to invite Ryan in. It seems to work when a third person is here to let me spotlight. No, it's still showing me. So even though on my end, from what I see in the computer, it has um, pinned the work surface. So down here, but it's not doing that for you guys. So we're just going to invite Ryan in. At least we know now that um, that's something we can do. And then that should fix what view you guys have. And I just need your help to pull up the participant view. It disappeared for some reason. At least we won't take eight minutes to get, the, get to this this time. But it doesn't have, oh, there's the invite. I just had it too low on the screen. There we go. Easy fix. Okay, so he'll join. And then I can at least uh, spotlight. And then it will work. Yeah, you're in now. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for waiting. So what is everybody doing this weekend? We have a social to go to tomorrow. So I'm kind of excited about that. It's a Halloween social. Ryan's cousin is getting married. And um, I'm just gonna switch the view for a sec. And so we have her wedding social. There we go, this should work. We're gonna give it just a second to make sure that my desk, there we go. All right, it worked. So this is the card, I'll just bring it up close for you guys. So I'm going to create this card for you guys tonight. I am using the textured floral stamp set and the textured floral dies. I'm first just going to show you a couple of upcoming events so that you guys are in the loop before we get creating. You're going to social also. Hey, whose social is it? Maybe we'll be at the same social. I haven't been to a social in forever. It's been a really long time. Um, so I have this information here, save the date for my all day crop. I have now got some information. I will be emailing out tonight 
for those of you, well, email it to everybody, but um, this is for people who have been wondering, but I wanted to at least update you on the information that I was able to confirm this week. So on November 18th, we're going to have an all day crop. It will be from nine to nine. The fee is $105. That includes a $35 swag bag, lunch, make and takes, a table favor or a pillow gift, depending on what you like to call them and Christmas dinner. So our moms will be coming in to the city. They'll be making Christmas dinner for everybody and we'll have lots of fun crafting and things like that. I will also have some separate classes. So if you like to come to take the classes, there will be more that I'll have to offer you. But if you like to come and just get your own stuff done, that's totally okay too. So there's my all day crop. And then this is the sneak peek at the class that Rachel and I will be offering. So Rachel's blog is Stamp Your Art Out. So you may even know her by that. If you don't know her by her first name, she does a lot of work with Paper Pumpkin. She is super talented. And her and I have known each other for quite a few years. My first incentive trip back in 2011 was when I met her. So, and then we spent lots of time with them on um, the Norway crew. So lots of fun. And we decided we should do an event together. So hopefully it all goes well. And then we can continue to offer these classes to go for you guys. So I have created with um, this color palette and Rachel has created with the other color palette here. So hopefully that is something that Marissa and Zach, that's uh, the one we're going to, Michelle. That's hilarious. So I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So Marissa is Ryan's cousin. You'll have to, uh, are you dressing up or are you just going as you are? That's what we've been discussing here just before we went live. So Ryan's mom is here because it's Ryan's mom's sister's daughter. So Marissa's mom and Ryan's mom are sisters. Yeah, too funny. So do you know Marissa or do you know Zach? <laughs> and actually I'll have a card prize there too. Um, okay, so Rachel and I are excited to be bringing this to you guys. It will... Um, it's released now for registration. So you can register for the version that includes the product or the materials to make the cards. The tutorial only version will be available on November 13th, but not before then. And then we do have a separate option that I will be, oh, too funny. So did you donate some cards too? I wonder if that's you. That's awesome. Okay. So I love it. So you know Carolyn. Okay, so um, there is still the team option that I will be emailing out to team members as well, that they can do this class as well. Okay, and then I also have Stamp Club coming up. I have to get the details out on that, but if that's something you're interested in, you can message me and let me know that you would like the information. And I will also be rolling out the information for this Marion Bright class. Um, within a few days I just had to get um, my information with Rachel out first and then this will be coming out to you guys as well and of course there is always the not always but for the rest of the month always there is the 35 deal for 35 for 35 if you are interested in purchasing the starter kit you can get 35 percent off the 135 that it costs to join and only pay 87.75 or you can go with 35% more. You pay the 135, but you get to choose 35% more extra value. So you would choose 222.75. So these are the promotions that are going on, promotions and events that we have right now. All right, so I'm gonna get into making the card for you. Sorry, I just had to put those in my, or try to put them in my little stand, but computer's in the way. All right, so we're gonna do this. The colors that I am using are, Pretty Peacock, Soft Seafoam, and Lost Lagoon. So if you were, hey, Crystal, if you are, um, I lost my train of thought there. Pretty Peacock, Soft Seafoam, and Lost Lagoon. And I've done mine, I can't show you the other ones, but this one here is done in this palette and then so are my other three cards. Hey, Kathy, <laughs> it's fun to see some of you here. I'll figure out what I was gonna say about those colors in a moment. And I'm just going to pick my stamps here. I will actually do some die cutting with you guys tonight because I wanted you to see how this goes. That one's got I have a tip for you guys. 
if you have very little critters like I do, scotch tape is handy or even some post-it notes. This is some post-it note tape, which I will use for die cutting. But if you have like stray cat hairs or dust on there, you can just lift it off with a piece of tape. And that will help you get a nicer stamp image. We know, all know it's not much fun when you stamp your image and then there's like a stray line across your image. None of us like that. And I have loved this with a grateful heart greeting. So I used quite a few of the images from this stamp set on my card. And then I have the dies here, I'll show you guys as well. We're also featuring the Irresistible Blooms, I wanna say it's called. Hello Irresistible is the DSP that we are featuring with this class, as well as Bloom and Pearls. We may have to either substitute those or have people wait a couple days for their supplies. We wanna be mailing them by November 13th, but we are looking at a bat order with the Bloom and Pearls. Of course, they went into, um, out of stock status today. Another tip for you guys, if you have a greeting stamp or a long narrow stamp, sometimes it's better to put it face down and then pick it up with your block and then it will be straighter on your top. And then we have the little flower center and this guy here. So these are all the images that I'm using for this card. Do you guys have this bundle? Thanks, Crystal. Let me know if anyone has this one. So textured floral. And so if somebody is interested in this and you already have the bundle, there is a kit and gift only option, or you do get the ribbon and the gem. So we are including those, but this is the bundle. I bought this one because I wanted these sprigs. That was what I wanted from this one. And then it worked out well because this was the set that Rachel and I chose to do our first class to go with. So I will need those dies because I will actually be die cutting here with you guys. So first what I'll do is all of my stamping and then we'll do the die cutting and then assembly. So there really isn't a ton of, I feel like there isn't a ton of work, but I always say that. And then it seems like we turn into having more than what I thought. So I'll just move these out of the way and get the ink pads ready. So first I'll do my straight full strength stamping. I'm going to try to get all of these in one quarter sheet of cardstock. I wanna make sure that I leave some room around the edge so that I have room for my die. So that was pretty peacock. Now I'm going to fill the center with soft sea foam. There we go. And then I'm also going to ink up this other floral image. So this one is here. This image is this one back here. And I'm okay with this being, I have one that's bold and then one that's soft. I liked the differentiation in those. And then this one here has multi-tones to it. So I'm going to ink it up first with soft sea foam. So that's all inked up. And then I have a dauber here and I'm going to put a little bit of Lost Lagoon through the middle. or mostly out to the outer edges, actually. You'll, you'll still see a bit of soft sea foam towards the edges. But there's still, so I've filled that with Lost Lagoon. I'll just bring that a little closer so you can see there. And then there's still soft sea foam around the border. So I've got that so far. Now, if you are doing multi-tone stamping, if you put, um, if it's polymer, and you have your clear blocks, you can always put a piece of white paper behind that so that you can kind of see better where you are going with your ink. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Pretty Peacock and put that around the middle. So I'm not gonna go too far out with the Pretty Peacock. And then I just daubered my finger as well. There's no surprise there. Now I'm going to go in the opposite corner, leaving myself enough room for my die. So there we go. Now we have a multi-toned image. So I've got that. And now I also did, let me close these guys for now. I will need the greeting again in a moment. 
So I've got the large leaf. One and then the small leaf. There we go. So that's all of the images. So I've got the small flower that's bold, the larger flower that's multi-toned, and then the two sets of leaves. I do have the other two leaves are pre-die cut. So I have these little guys ready to go as well. Now I'm going to stamp the greeting. So I've got that with a grateful heart and I have a scrap of soft sea foam. So I'll just stamp that on here. Now I'm gonna to stamp towards one end and I will trim this down. I'll show you guys one other thing. If I, this is what I actually meant to do, so I may as well show you. I'm just going to clean this off. And hopefully there's no traces of ink left on there. Now, if I'd wanna make sure that I'm not gonna run into this H because I didn't use the width, I just use the uh, grateful heart. So if I wanna make sure I have extra room on the left side of the A so that I don't run into the H showing in this little nook between those two petals, what you can also do when you've got a polymer stamp like this is just take your ink pad and then I'm actually gonna keep the width. So width is on this side here and I'm only going to ink up the uh, grateful heart. So I'm keeping the width off the ink pad. So now I have only inked up a grateful heart. And then that way I don't have to compete with that H getting in the way. There we go. So now I've just got the a grateful heart. So that was my, my other tip for you guys today. Now, I am going to gather the dies. So I need this one here. That's going to go there. This one is going to go there. This one is going to go here. And then this one. So I will tape them all down. I just use, I have this roll of post it tape, and it's amazing. I probably ripped off a little too much. So I'm just ripping it in half. Then you just wanna make sure that this is taped down to hold that steady. And then I can run these through all at once. I concentrate on that part. So Michelle, I haven't gone back through the comments. Are you dressing up for tomorrow? Let me know. I'm going to move this off here for just a minute and I'll actually bring the machine over. Hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I've got my platform in here. I can take this with all of these taped down because they're all secured in place there. I am fairly confident. Now, hopefully they all stay in place. Now that I said that, watch them move. So now you can just roll that through. Sorry for the camera shake. It'll be done in just a moment. Trying to crank it slowly so it doesn't shake that all over the place on you. There we go. Now I'll just move this. There. Now we should have everything hopefully fairly evenly die cut. There we go. Okay. 
no, you're not dressing up. <laughs> the, I think I was saying before the boys plan to, and then Ryan doesn't plan to. Um, but we'll see what Ryan's mom and I find if we find a hat or not. That will determine whether or not we dress up. <laughs> Okay, so those are all my die cuts. I've got my sprigs. Now I just wanna trim this down. I shouldn't say all of my die cuts. I do have this nice frame, this nice stitched frame from Radiating Stitches. I love that set. It's an online exclusive. And for online exclusive, I think sometimes we don't realize that online exclusive doesn't mean that that's the only place you can order it. You can still order it through your demonstrator, or if you're a demonstrator, you can order it on a demo order. It just means that it's the only place you will see it. So it doesn't show up in a catalog, but it will be featured online. So any type of order is where you can get it. You just, if you want to look up the number or find the price or any of that, that's where you'll find the information. So I'm just trimming off the top. I should have told you guys what I was doing there. Hopefully that was straight. Yeah, Linda, they're awesome dies. I love those ones. So there we go. That was a pretty decent first cut. So I'm gonna just leave it and go with that. I have my card base ready to go. This is a five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have the DSP. So I left this so that I could cut this with you guys. I don't have any scraps that are um, big enough. So I need to actually cut into a new sheet. Let me know, do you guys pay attention to the online exclusives? This paper is also an online exclusive. We've got some really nice Christmas ones as well. So I'm going to cut this to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it is a little bigger than the four by five and a quarter. And then that way I still see a little bit more of it peeking out behind the um, frame. So then I've just got this piece left over. So this cutter does not go to, um, it doesn't go as far as five and three eighths. So I just have to subtract off the other end. So I've got to do the math on that. So that should be five eighths is what I want this to be if I need five and three eighths. So there we go. So this should be what we need. I should have grabbed a ruler and measured, but. Oh, that's awesome, Michelle let you know them through Mike's sister. So she is in Brandon, right? That's the one. Now I've got a little mark on here. I'm gonna have to grab an adhesive eraser and get that off. There we go. Small worlds. Okay, so now I am, I did distress the edges of this a bit. You guys know me and my distressed edges, I think. All right, so we're going to distress the edges a bit. And you just have to be careful when it's DSP, if you're doing this, that you don't slice the edges or like slice into it. I just like the little bit of a distressed edge. So I'll glue that down with Tombow. This one is going straight down to my card base. I find when I have such a small mat, I don't like to dimensional it because then you kind of lose the layer behind and I have a very thin reveal on this card. So it's very pretty, Linda. Do you have this bundle? Now, this one here, I'm going to dimension. So I am going to load it up with the larger dimensionals. I'm actually gonna use white. Depending on what colors you're working with, you could use black. I'm gonna go ahead with white. And I want to give this frame a lot of support so that it doesn't cave in. So don't mind the abundance of dimensionals that I'm using. Okay, we just gotta take all those off. I just wanna give them a good press and make sure 
that they're on there. Michelle, when's the last time you were at a social? How about anyone else? When's the last time you were at a social? If you are somebody watching from even another province, not even necessarily another country, a social is an event usually put on by um, a couple getting married. They can be for other reasons too, not just people getting married, but it's a fundraising event. So people purchase their ticket and then often purchase additional tickets to win prizes and things like that to help the bride and groom or whoever it is raise money for whatever cause. I should have put black ones under there because you can kind of see them through there, but I'm not gonna change it now. All right, now I also put dimensionals behind this little flower. So I'm going to cut a thin strip here. So it's just the top jagged edge of some mini dimensionals. And I am going to kind of curve them along the bottom of this flower. And then that way I can take this and stick this down to this set of leaves here. So there we go. Now I've got the flower raised up from the petals or the leaves a little bit. And then I'm also going to put a dimensional. I had to remind myself, I should keep the card in here where you guys can see it instead of keeping it off the view here. So now I'm just gonna put a dimensional on the back of this little flower. And you can see here, I kind of have this one peeking through right here and this leaf peeking through right here. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go. That's just how I decided I liked it for my layering pieces. I do also need, this is in the holiday catalog. It is the white, I think it's called shimmer ribbon iridescent ribbon. This is actually what you're going to get, which is why I'm using it, but this is what you would get a spool of with your class to go if you are purchasing the supplies from us. So this one here is going to be, I've got an angle cut, but it's a little bit frayed. So I am just going to cut a new edge and there we go. And I'll lay this across here. It's overlapping my frame just a little. And then I'm going to come in on this side and cut that. So if you have a really thick ribbon or a bulky ribbon, I showed you guys in the very cute card that I posted today, I was showing you guys how you could use a bulky ribbon like this one here. It's hard to tie a bow with this thick ribbon because it's just so thick. It adds so much bulk to your project. So I did this same technique with um, like this ribbon is still fine enough that you could tie a bow and it's not too bulky because it's very thin. But this ribbon is so thick with all that velvet that it's a very bulky bow. So if you just cut strips like this to help anchor your focal layer, it's a nice way to still incorporate the ribbon but not have it be too bulky. All right, so this is going to go down with a strip of tear and tape. So I want to just put this down. This is about three quarters of an inch or so up and then the bottom of the ribbon will sit about a half an inch up from the frame from the inside of the frame. There we go. Now that's nicely anchored there. And now I can build these other elements on top. So I'm going to tuck this in here. This is actually, um, it's not attached just yet. I want to dry fit this. So dry fitting is just like laying your pieces out without actually using your adhesive to attach them. Then that way you can use that as a guide to help attach some of the other elements. So with this just sitting here, I can use a couple of blue dots and attach these leaf layers. I love this dye. I think it's gorgeous. I feel like I need to try and make a wreath or something out of it. I've got a lot of projects I need to make. We have team appreciation coming up. 
and then we have the all day crop. We are gathering, I should have mentioned that before. If you are local and you're a demonstrator, you don't have to be on our team either. Um, demonstrators in the area are welcome to join us for our in-person viewing of the virtual on stage. There's actually a team coming up from Fargo to join us as well. So again, this is not attached, it's just loosely sitting there, but I've put a couple of glue dots on the back of this. And now I can just reach in here and tuck this in where I want that. So now I've just pressed that down. Now that's not going anywhere and I can adjust this and put it where I want it. But first I wanna get this one in there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just put a couple of glue dots on the back of my sprig or set of leaves, whatever you wanna call these. I feel like I should mail this card to somebody. Who wants to win this card? If you'd like to win this card, if you choose to share this video, comment that you have shared it before Sunday. And on Sunday, I will do a draw and then I'll mail this card to somebody. But you do have to come back and comment that you shared it because otherwise I won't know that you did. Sometimes the share feature, it doesn't show us who actually shared it. So your commenting is the only way for me to know. Um, Michelle, you went to a social before COVID. I don't even, I have no idea when the last social I would have gone to was. Maybe David. David, if you're still here, it might have been your social that was, and yours was a Halloween social too. I think, right? Or did I just go to a Halloween social with you? I think it was yours. All right, so I need to do one more thing with ink. So this here, I could leave this the way it is and just have it be the soft sea foam. I'll show you that. But it blends in with the greeting a lot. So I just took my pretty peacock ink pad and just tapped the edges of my little greeting strip on the ink pad. So I'm not gonna drag it, I'm just gently tapping it with a slight tilt forward. And then that way I get a really slight border. So it's not like putting a layer of pretty peacock behind there, but it just gives that little differentiation between the two layers, between the greeting and the leaves. Thanks for sharing, Ramona. Maybe you'll win by default, who knows? <laughs> okay, so now we have this. And this here, I gotta get these ready with dimensionals. So we're gonna do that. And I wanna use some large ones behind this. Now, this guy is already raised between the leaf and the flower. So I think I actually need to put, let me just see how I did this. I just put this straight down. But I think I needed to have put two layers. I'm actually gonna just do one. So that's gonna hold that down. I'm gonna fill up that little corner. And then this guy is gonna go right in here, but I wanna be mindful of so this this leaf here is hidden behind the greeting so i want to be, be mindful of where this little opening between these two leaves or petals are because that is where my a grateful heart needs to go and you can see that my this end here is too long because there's a dimensional between there i can't fit this in there so i need to snip a chunk off and just test this out so i just want to make sure that this is going to fit. Now we're good. So I can go ahead and I'm going to dimensional the back of this here. I'll use a couple of small ones. So I'm going to put one behind this leaf because I know that this right here is overlapping this flower. So I want one there, but I also want to put another one right here so that it's not just held by one dimensional and then I'm going to do a double decker here because this part is going to overlap that's already raised and this so this part needs a double decker so that it stays at the right level. I hope that makes sense. So to double decker I just pulled that backing off you have to pull one backing off and then stick the other dimensional on. 
So you can see there, this one is a double decker and this is a single decker. And then that way everything will be flush across the surface. There we go. And then now I can tuck this in here. I actually need to move that over. It is too far to the left, which then doesn't allow, I'm just gonna gently get this, there we go. It doesn't allow for my greeting to have enough space. So I've got to move this over. I should have clued into that, but I didn't. No worries. Now I can fit this in here and there's room. So now for this guy, I also need to double decker that. So to double decker that, I am going to, let's just see if there's that little strip left of dimensional. I still have this little strip that I snipped that jagged edge off to go behind here. So I'm going to use this. I have another tip for you guys. I just so want to have these last little bits left and you're not sure where to put them. I probably, the one that has them in it is not handy at the moment, but I will show you with another one where I store them. So these little embellishment containers, I have one that has these last little ends. So when I need to do something like this, of course, right now it's not handy, but usually when I need to attach something like that, I've got those last little ends and then they don't get lost in the drawer and stick to things that you don't want them stuck to. So I'm gonna put one decker there, peel the back, and then I need to peel one side off this one and then stick those together. So now I've got a double decker. And I'm going to put a little glue dot on the end here that's gonna tuck in behind or in between these layers of the flower just to help hold that there too. Now I can peel this backing off. I have to find my little container so I can put that in there. And then I can just tuck this in here and now I'm gonna hold that down with that little blue dot. And there we go. So now my greeting is in place. Let me know what you guys think. I have to add embellishments yet. So they're not, it's not quite done, but that is my card. And I think, oh no, we're okay. I was going to say, I think it looks like something spilled on this one, but it's just my shadow. Hopefully it's not too shadowy for you guys. Um, hopefully it's bright enough on your end with what you can see. So now I need the blooming pearls or blooming pearls. These are another item that you're supposed to get in your kit. And again, it is always subject to change of materials based on availability. We have checked the status report and they are supposed to come back on the 13th, which is the day we want to ship our kits. And we can both do two day shipping. So it may be worth as long as they come back when they're supposed to. It may be worth just hanging on to your kits and shipping them two days later so that you can get the pearls. So that's something that we are discussing. All right, now I don't have my take your pick tool handy, so I'm just going to use a piercer, but I went with this. Um, it doesn't say the colors on the back. I'm positive this is pretty peacock. So I have gone with um, one here, a large one and a small one. And then I used another large one just over here. So kind of tied that all in. Thanks, Michelle. I have to uh, find a use for these ones. I haven't looked over closely enough to know what colors Rachel's, Rachel used from memory, but um, I definitely will need to use those. Maybe even this pink one with some of those cute little fluffy friends or the bumblebee. But that is what you would get. So the people who purchase the um, class to go, they're going to get not a full pack of the DSP. They'll get what they need to make the cards, which won't be this one. That's why this one, like we're not going to show you on live the cards that we're going to make. They'll be a surprise for the people who are doing the class. But um, I wanted to make this one for you guys so that you could see a sampling of the product that is used so that you can get an idea of what the cards will end up like. So this is the color palette that I went with from the 
irresistible, hello irresistible. I keep wanting to call it irresistible blooms. I believe that's what the bundle that actually went with this DSP was, but um, we tied this in with the textured floral. And then we brought in the bloom and pearls that coordinate with a different DSP in the holiday catalog. But we thought that they went nicely together with um, just all of that mashup of different products. So the DSP, this um, iridescent ribbon, the bloom and pearls, and then, um, yeah, the bloom and pearls, the ribbon, the DSP, and then the textured floral bundle. So I hope that you're inspired. I hope you like it. And even if you're not doing our class, I hope that this inspired you to get your stuff out and uh, create something. And even if you're not a stamper, then I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching. Maybe you'll even, you don't have to be a stamper to share the video and, and uh, win the card either. So if you share, comment to let me know, then on Sunday evening at nine, I'm going to write myself a note so that I don't forget. And on Sunday at nine, I will do a draw for those of you who shared. And then I will message you for your address if you are the winner. And um, I will post a photo of this card and I will probably announce on that photo who the winner was. Actually, I'll announce it on this video. I'll come back to this video and I'll announce it here. So Sunday at 9 p.m. Central Daylight. We have not had our time change yet, though it is very dark early. So feel free to share, comment, let me know that you did. And I will give away one of these cards. I will also, hi, Leslie. I will also do another live soon because I think I will show you guys the card that I posted today. We did do that one at our demo academy, but um, just to help with the measurements because that is a card that I have used the layout of over and over again. I have found that it's a really good layout when I am stuck to get creating. It's one that uh, helps me get the process going. So it's a good fallback layout. So have a great weekend, everybody. I don't know that I'll get back this weekend, but um, I will get back to do that card and some others for you guys. And just with company and the social, I'm not sure if this weekend will work out, but I'll post and let you guys know. So looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, Michelle. I will just switch this back. I'm going to remove the spotlight and uh, I'll just come back here for a second. So yeah, thank you um, for watching. See you tomorrow, Michelle. That is awesome that we'll both be at the same place and just stay tuned for when the next live is. If you're interested in taking the class, you can, um, I believe that on the post that I made earlier today, you can click over to my blog. And then on my blog, there are the links for the different registration options. So you can do the full shebang, which is the um, bundle with all the card supplies. And you also get the pearls and the ribbon with that. Number two is no bundle. So if you already own the bundle or you're a demonstrator and you plan on buying it yourself, then um, you can get everything else. So you'd still get our gift. You would still get all the card supplies. You get the ribbon, you get the pearls. And then there is the tutorial only option, which will release on November 13th. And then we will also have um, an option for our team members so that um, they're just not paying any extra. They're just getting the supplies. So yeah, to make their cards. So anyhow, that is my sneak peek or my uh, kickoff card so that you guys could see what we're working with. And uh, hopefully I will uh, have somebody to send this card to. Well, at least there's one person and we've got at least one person who'll be in the draw. So somebody will get this card in the mail. Have a good weekend, everybody. I will see you guys again soon. Good night.